Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you're having a good day as always. Today I thought I'd just have a conversation with you guys about something all of us are probably dealing with in our financial lives and that is saving up for something. Now, I think it's good to have something to save up for, but I also hope what it is that you're saving up for is actually something that's gonna benefit you in the long run, especially financially. So what I wanna be doing today is talking about what it is that I'm saving up for, how I'm doing it, and what I think the long-term financial benefits are going to be for me. Um, and I would love it if you guys joined the conversation by commenting below with what it is that you're doing and how you're doing it. So what I'm gonna do first is let's just go ahead and jump right into what it is that I'm saving for. Um, and if you guys have watched the channel for a while, you know that I'm actually saving up to buy um, or build, I should say, a house. And this has been something that has been a long time in the making. Uh, it originally started with me wanting to build an accessory dwelling unit in my backyard of the house that I live in now. Um, because of where I'm located at in Austin and flood plans, I'm actually not able to build one. Uh, so that was a real, real big bummer. I wanted to put a tiny house in the backyard and actually live in the tiny house with my girlfriend and my, our dog um, and then rent out the main house. And so by, by being able to do that, I would have been able to save money by having a less expensive home, but also make money by renting out the main house. Now, since that isn't an option anymore, I've kind of had to reevaluate what it is that I would like to do. Um, and what that's changed to is actually now buy some land and build a house probably somewhere in another part of the United States. Uh, after visiting my girlfriend's family over in British Columbia, I really, really just love the Pacific Northwest. So, you know, I don't think I can go to Canada, but what my, my goal has been is to build a house over in Washington. It's just, it's a different world than what I've grown up in in Texas. It offers a lot of things that I want when it comes to like scenery and climate and, and to be honest, affordability as well. Um, so that really is what I'm saving up for, building a house. Now, as far as me actually saving to make this a reality, um, what I'm doing is a little bit different than most because when I think of like saving money to purchase something, it means like setting money aside or budgeting elsewhere so you can be able to afford something. Um, and what I'm having to do actually is pay off my rental property um, in its entirety. I would like to get that thing paid off because as soon as that's the case, I'm going to have more passive income through my rental property. Uh, the house that we live in now is my girlfriend's and she will be able to use that as her own rental income. And that way, if we do decide to build somewhere else, we'll have uh, two extra sources of income that will be able to afford us this new house. Maybe we can afford to do it without a mortgage loan. Um, that's kind of to be determined, but right now what I'm doing is I'm saving money for this new Washington house by paying off the only debt that I have, and that is my current rental property. So uh, I've been paying off as much as I possibly can over the past few months. I've got a video coming out on Friday where it shows my extra payment for this month, but every single month I've been paying as much extra towards the principal amount of my mortgage loan um, to get that thing paid off as soon as possible. So I've been able to throw a little over $12,000 at it so far. Uh, I think I'm at about 74,000 left, so I've got a ways. But at the end of the day, I'm saving money towards my goal and what I want um, by actually paying down some of my only obligations that I have. Uh, I'm not saying this is the only way to save for something, but I actually would encourage you to consider doing this method as well if you're someone who already has debt. You know, let's say you're saving up for a purchase that's, you know, in the near future, and especially if you're not gonna be able to pay for it in full if it involves a loan of any type, um, I would always advise against adding to debt that you already have. You know, so if you've got credit card debt or student loan debt or uh, an auto loan, right, personal loans, whatever it is, if you've got debt already and you are trying to save up for something else, um, definitely consider saving for that next purchase by paying down what you already have. Because if you were able to pay down what you already have, it's like you've already built up a savings because you no longer have those monthly payment obligations. So especially if that involves things like a car loan, which could have a high monthly payment, um, those can really, really add up to a significant amount of savings towards the next project that you're saving towards. So again, there's multiple ways of approaching saving for something financially. Um, I've just got my method and I know it works for me and I actually like doing it this way. Um, but if you're doing something different, make sure to comment below so others may be motivated to find out your strategy because it may work out for them better. Um, and again, as always, the more we share with each other, the better off everyone is going to be. 
Now, the last thing I want to talk about is why I think um, it's good to keep in mind what long-term benefits we're going to have um, by purchasing whatever it is we're saving up for. Um, and I really like thinking about this because sometimes we're forced to reconsider what it is we're actually saving our money up for. Like if it's just a luxury purchase that isn't really going to benefit us, we may come to realize we actually don't want to spend that money uh, on this product or whatever it is that you're purchasing. So for me, the reason why I, I want to build this house over in Washington, um, it's for a few reasons, right? Uh, you know, I talked earlier about like the weather, the climate, all that stuff is true, but those are benefits, right? One of the main reasons why I want to do this is the financial aspect of it. You know, living in Austin, Texas, uh, we have very, very high property taxes out here, um, you know, to the tune of, you know, almost $9,000 a year for us. And keep in mind, we don't have, have a, a state income tax here, so that's why it's so high. Um, but at the end of the day, like, that is just a lot to be faced with, even when you own your house. Right, so $9,000 a year just in property taxes is not a fun thing to pay. So if we can find another state or another area that we enjoy living in, but it doesn't come with that, that really high property tax expense, well then that's gonna be a financial win for us in the long run because we're saving money. Another reason why I think we're gonna benefit financially is that I think we can design and build a house that we really, really love and wanna be in um, for cheaper than what it is that we uh, currently have in value at this house. Again, this is my girlfriend's house, so this is really going to benefit her mostly. But either way, if you look at it, if we're able to sell this house, uh, build the next house, and have a lot of money left over, well then obviously that was a net positive for us because we have a new place that has less operating costs and there's money left over. So it's a win-win. If let's say we don't sell this house and we rent it out, if the rental value of this house it surpasses whatever potential mortgage we may have, then that's a win-win. So either way, I think we're gonna benefit financially as long as we can keep expectations realistic when it comes to building a new house. Um, that's probably not gonna to be too difficult considering I was wanting to build a tiny house to begin with. So even if I don't go the tiny house route and I just go with a small and efficient house, I think we're easily going to be able to come in way under than the home value of the current house. So. Overall, that is what I'm thinking about saving up for. I am doing it by paying down the only debt that I have so I have more money to throw at um, the house of my dreams in the future. Uh, again, everyone's gonna be planning for something different. I'd love to know what it is that you're saving up money for. Again, if there's also anything that I forgot to mention as far as saving strategies or debt payoff plans, I'd love to know what you guys think. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Make sure to check out some of the other referral links and or videos I have below and other ways to save money. But thanks again, make smart financial decisions, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I know I just said this stuff, but let me say it again. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate all the support that you guys give me. And to support you, here's two more videos that I've made in the past in case you haven't seen them. Don't forget to share these with your friends and family so we can help all the people achieve their financial goals. Likewise, if there's anything that you would want to see made that you haven't seen thus far, definitely don't hesitate to let me know. But thanks again, take care, and have a good day.